type into Google and Google will give me articles as to, as to my question, most of us just stop there. Let me say, okay, well, let me sift through this. But to take it a step deeper and ask oneself, but is it true? Not like lowercase t truth, not like philosophically true, but is it true? Is it a fact? And even if it is, ooh, take it deeper, go further. Hurrah! Even if it is, do I want it to be true for me? Blessings and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Preston Smiles, and I help people get free from the inside out, regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission oof, is the top five words to live by. These are my top five mantras. These are the top five quotes and things that live inside of me that I remind myself of daily. I want to start by saying, in no way do I believe that I have the perfect life. And yet, I know that I have the perfect life. Now, what I mean by that is it's perfect inside of its imperfections. It's not perfect based on someone else's standards. It's perfect because it is. Mm. I'm snapping for myself here because that, that landed for me again. And it's a reminder to each and every one of you. So I'm going to start with uh, quote number one, mantra number one that I live by and remind myself of often. And it is a quote by uh, Frederick Nietzsche. And it goes like this. Those who were seen dancing were called crazy by those who could not hear the music. Now, one of the reasons why this quote is so powerful and it hits me so deep is because each and every one of us has a still small voice that is always in always speaking. And when we can move out of the way and allow that voice to speak, to dance, to move through us, to animate us, something occurs. And that something, we could name magic, we could name isness, we could name God manifest, we could name it whatever we want. But that something is deeper and um, outside of our cognitive control those who were seen dancing were called crazy by those who could not hear the music. There is specific medicine on your heart. There is specific medicine that was given to you. A divine curriculum was given to you in particular. And when we say yes to that, which is calling us forward, we are saying yes to the world. We are saying yes to the magic. We are saying yes to the gifts that we came here to, dis to dispense into the world. Now, taking this a little deeper, the apples don't belong to the tree. The apples belong to the ecosystem. The fruit is not for the tree. The fruit is for the ecosystem. And so, when we allow ourselves to dance to the beat of our own drum, that internal drum, that first music that we ever heard, which was our mother's heartbeat, when we allow ourselves to dance to that drum, to the, to the internal calling, what we are doing and being in that moment is a beneficial presence on the planet. Mm. To me, that is our purpose, is to reflect and reveal God's love in only the way that we can. And if a snowflake is unique in its nature, there is no other snowflake that is designed like the next snowflake. The power that be 
can create that it created the same within each and every one of us. So that's my first favorite quote, mantra, and words to live by. Uh, Quote slash mantra number two uh, comes from Ernest Holmes. Ernest Holmes uh, is actually an amazing, amazing teacher of mine. No longer on the planet. Uh, But there's a book called The Science of Mind and... About nine years ago, I was reading that book in a class. The class was called The Power of Prayer. And I got to this line that said, to get your questions answered and your answers questioned. And it literally, like, my mind went sideways. You ever have a moment where you're like, wait, what did I just hear? Because it hit me and it reminded me that I had only, for most of my life, stopped at getting my questions answered. Very rarely did I actually question the answer. And so for me, these are words to live by because it's a reminder that there's more than meets the eye, that our outlook will always determine our outcome, that the power of perspective will change your entire world right we we live in the like in these little little ant hills where it looks like chaos but if you pull far enough back far enough back far enough back far enough back you will see the fundamental order of the entire thing that is called the chaos theory but so many of us are so caught in the mix that in in the mix in the matrix that we can't see with the eye behind the eye so for me if if let's call it, if, if God is like Google, right? If I type into Google, why am I so fat? Why am I so broke? Why am I not the marrying type? Why do I keep sabotaging? Google will answer. It will send you videos and articles. Ask and it is given. Seek and ye shall find. Mm. It is done unto you as you believe. We're going straight Bible here, and I'm not even a Bible beater or a Bible thumper. Let's go. Um, So if I type into Google and Google will give me articles as as to my question, most of us just stop there. And we say, okay, well, let me sift through this. But to take it a step deeper and ask oneself, but is it true? Not like lowercase t truth, not like philosophically true, but is it true? Is it a fact? And even if it is, ooh, take it deeper, go further. Even if it is, do I want it to be true for me? That perspective will change everything right now. Right now, some of you are believing things about you that are not serving you. Even if they've been true in the past, they don't have to be true in the now or the future. So get your questions answered and your answers questioned. Let's go. Yo, I don't know if this is landing for anybody, but it's landing for me again. It's it's another reminder. Okay, let's move on to uh, quote... Mantra number three, which is, comes from the Gnostic Gospels of Thomas, and it states that if you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. But if you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Mm. I love this quote. Because it is not just this grand, huge idea. It is daily. We are in and out beings. We take water in, water comes out. We take food in, food comes out. We take breath in, air comes out. We go through a bad breakup. It stays. We justify. We logic our way through. You go through a trauma, a divorce, 
a, 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 uh, a car accident, a molestation, a rape, um, you name it, a, a, a pandemic. And we try to rationalize it, but the body remembers what the mind forgets. And so if you bring forth what is within you, even if it's anger, even if it's sadness, even if it's joy, if it's sexual feelings, whatever it is, it will save you. But if you hold, if you hoard, if you hang tight, it will destroy you. That is literally, if you just keep eating and don't poop, guess what's coming for you? <laughs> this is why so many people have cancer. This is why so many people have created so many diseases because they're so blocked. There's just some statistic that says most of the doctor's visits are psychosomatic, meaning it, it, it's like... It's mindset that's affecting the body. So if you bring forth what is within you, whatever it is, it will save you. If you don't, it will destroy you. Ooh, so good. Number four, we're going to pump through these. Uh, number four is, um, hmm, this is one of my favorites as well. Um, spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Said differently, now that one's from uh, Science of Mind as well, uh, said differently from Conversations with God, number four, uh, is you cannot have what you want, but you may experience what you have. You can't have what you want because the act of wanting says there's lack and limitation. There's limitation. I, 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 if I want, the universe says, of course you want. I'm always going to be a yes. Of course you want. You can't have what you want, but you may experience what you have. Spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Mm, 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 so good. Life doesn't come to you. It comes from you. Are any of you catching the theme here? They're all very similar. There's so much, so much. I could keep going. But I'm going to go to the fifth and final mantra. Uh, and it is something I meditate on often. Whenever I'm experiencing disconnection from my higher self, from my wife, family, anybody, I take a moment to get still. I take a moment to get still. And I repeat this mantra over and over and over again. And I allow my body to feel it as I repeat it. I deserve, I allow, I receive. I deserve, I allow, I receive. I deserve, I allow, I receive. This for me is such a big, powerful reminder and a helpful way to attune myself to the truth of my being. For me, when I look out these windows right now, I see trees, beautiful trees, grass. Um, each one of those trees is deserving of the sun and the rain that pours on it, it definitely allows, no, the, the, each tree, each leaf, all of it's just leaning, expressing towards the sun. And I don't see much blocking of the receiving. I'll do a whole other podcast on this, but oftentimes we call ourselves givers, but we aren't good receivers. And if the circuit isn't complete, it's not complete. You're blocking the law of circulation. Either way, I hope that this podcast landed where it needed to. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new to the family, new to the vibe, new to the tribe, and you have not been to PrestonSmiles.com, I have some magic there that uh, I only release through my website. So make sure you head on over there. Uh, I will see you very soon. If this resonated in any way, I ask that you share this with just one friend.
Just text message, whatever you need to do, share this message with a friend. Blessings and blessings. I love you so much. I appreciate you from my heart to yours. You got this.